Hello everyone and welcome to the first in this series of looking at diabetes medications and how they work. If you don't know me, I'm Mark, the diabetes diet guy and a diabetes specialist dietitian. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you head over to diabetesdietguy.com as we have a bunch of free information designed to help you control your diabetes and improve your lifestyle through healthy eating, exercise and simple diabetes principles. The first medication we're going to be looking at is metformin. It's one of the oldest diabetes medications, but still one of the best. This series of videos is to show you how the medications work. It is not a prescription of when to take them, and it is certainly not medical advice. So it's purely for reference. Metformin is most commonly used in type 2 diabetes, although it can be used in type 1 also, and it has two mechanisms of action. The first is that it helps to address the underlying insulin resistance that we typically see in type 2 diabetes. In other words, you're producing insulin, but it's not working as efficiently as it previously did. So its message is getting out there, but your body cells aren't hearing it as well. So what metformin does is it resensitizes your cells to insulin's message, allowing glucose to get from the blood into the cells where it wants to be used for energy. Therefore, the first mechanism and probably the most commonly known action of metformin is it helps to improve insulin sensitivity and reduces that insulin resistance, which typically drives type 2 diabetes. However, this can also be used in type 1 diabetes because just because you have type 1 diabetes, it doesn't mean that you still cannot develop the pathophysiology where your insulin isn't working as well in your body as someone with type 2 diabetes. We call this type 2 upon type 1 diabetes. The second mechanism of action of metformin is it works on the liver. Your liver will provide you with an internal supply of glucose, which is particularly upregulated between periods of eating. Usually when you release insulin, the insulin goes to the liver and tells it to dial down or turn off the glucose production. So you don't need an internal supply because you've eaten some food and now you have an external supply of glucose. So until the body is used up or stored that external supply, it doesn't need the internal supply from the liver at the moment. The problem is with type two diabetes in particular, a layer of fat has accumulated around the liver and so insulin can't quite get to it and tell it to turn off. So as a result, we end up with more glucose being released from the liver than we should do. So metformin also helps act on the liver, resensitizing it to insulin's message and telling it to downregulate or um, dial down or switch off its glucose production internally. So metformin also works on the liver by helping it receive insulin's message more efficiently, which reduces its glucose production and output. Therefore, your blood glucose levels are reduced. Metformin typically comes in 500 milligram doses with a maximum dose up to around two grams per day. And usually this will be spread throughout the day and will be built up gradually. So you may start with 500 milligrams with breakfast, then 500 milligrams with breakfast and dinner, then one gram at breakfast with 500 in the evening, and then one gram at breakfast and one gram in the evening. There are some side effects with metformin, with the most common one we see being some GI discomfort. So it basically upsets your belly. Now, it's not necessarily that you're going to experience this. In fact, very few people do. However, if you are taking max dose metformin, you can start to reduce the dose until the symptoms subside. So just because you can't tolerate two grams a day, you still might be able to tolerate one gram. However, if you really can't tolerate it, there are alternatives that your medical team or GP could offer. There's also a modified release metformin, which is a bit easier on the gut. So if you can't tolerate standard metformin, perhaps inquire about modified release to see if those ones work for you better. People who should be cautious about whether they're taking metformin are those that tend to be acutely unwell, have alcohol excess, suffer with kidney dysfunction, although there is a threshold where metformin is contraindicated, up until that point it's absolutely fine. And also in certain liver conditions, it can be problematic. So if you recognize that you suffer with any of these conditions, again, I'd encourage you to speak to your medical team or your GP just to make sure they're keeping an eye on this.
Thanks for watching everyone. This is the first in a sequence of videos looking at the different medications in diabetes. I hope you find it useful and if you want further information check out the blog www.diabetesdietguy.com where we have a bunch of free information there for you and if you need a helping hand we also offer programs and courses to show you exactly what to do to take hold of your condition and help you live healthy and happier lives hopefully improving your quality of life along the way. We'll see you at the next video. Goodbye.